literally chatting about. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, this morning on both our Zoom chat and Instagram Live. My name is Lauren Confuso, and I am co owner of Canopy Wellness. I'm a certified Bowen Health therapist. And that is the side that I run here at Camp Wellness. So I work with people, um, especially people with chronic pain and chronic illness. Uh, and I use Bowen therapy, a gentle touch therapy that uh, works with the body um, instead of just on the body and really truly helps people uh, cure and, and help themselves from chronic pain. I don't want to say too much. I'm kind of jealous. I'm like, oh, this is going to come. Like, in the question and answer, so I don't want to give away too many juicy details yet. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Mackenzie and I joined forces. Oh God, it's yeah over a year ago. over a year ago, kind of in, in the works of bringing Canopy Wellness together. And our whole goal was to bring movement and touch therapy together um, because two things as humans that we need. One is touch. Um, from a young child, you know, we know how important that is as a newborn baby for them to be touched by their loved ones, but it also carries forward as we grow older into adulthood. We still need that touch and that connection, and we actually get a lot of information from each other from just um, touching and getting close into our energetic uh, spheres. So it's something super important, and then movement comes into play as well as something that humans were meant to do, we were evolved to move. Uh, our ancestors probably walked miles and miles, well, kilometers and kilometers a day, so I'm not, yeah. <laughs> um, and we wanted to connect the two together because, because humans are meant to move, we're also healed through movement. And it's something that I believed in getting into bone therapy and actually helped me get into bone therapy was my journey through movement, um, but just allowing the two to connect so the body can truly heal itself through a modality, a gentle touch modality, and then through movement, that um, natural, intuitive, uh, functional movement that we teach here at Camp King Wellness. So, thanks. <laughs> um, my name is Mackenzie Zavitz, and I am the other half to Canopy Wellness. And I come from more of a movement background. And that happened um, when I was around 22. I started to dive deep into all things movement. Before that, I didn't really have a history in any movement practices. So I've been training with some leaders around the Canadian fitness industry um, and yoga industry. I've had the privilege you know, to train around the world and learn from all of these different people and my first love was really yoga but I brought that into all of the different spheres of strength training like kettlebells, strongman, crossfit. I always brought that mindfulness aspect to my movement practice no matter what it was that I was doing and so that's what we hope to really cultivate awareness and mindfulness in movement at Canopy Wellness. Um, and then alongside that, I am training to become a certified Bowen Health Therapist. Lauren built me in and we'll talk about how that happens in our- um, That's a really good story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now I just, I can't see the two. It really completes my circle of working with clients because sometimes I see a lot of clients come in with anxiety, with stress, especially now we, we all have a little bit of stress for sure. Um, and sometimes movement isn't enough to get us out of those loops. So using this touch therapy really completes the circle for me. And I really feel like I can offer my clients like something so complete to help them heal and to help them find and create help for themselves. So I think on that note, let's start talking about what is Bowen therapy? That's, that's my first question is, I'm like, Bowen, how do you spell that? What is it? <laughs> like, am I saying it right? So Lauren's going to tell us what yeah, is Bowen therapy. Of course. Uh, Bowen therapy is a gentle touch therapy. It works on pressure points and fascial lines um, <clears throat> with different sequences throughout the body. We actually stimulate the fascial system, which is that connective tissue system that 
pretty much runs our entire body. Um, but the main fascia that we connect with is the fascia just directly under the skin. Um, that that is a layer of our skin that actually wraps all of our muscles around. You might have heard the term myofascial, which myo is muscle, and then fascial, so all the, the wrappings around the muscle. It's a piece of the body that was used to be thrown away um, <clears throat> when they used to uh, uh, dissect cadavers in anatomy class because they want to see the tendons, they want to see the ligaments, they want to see the muscles, and they would just rip apart this fascia that was getting in their way and not really think much of it. Um, and that's the main idea behind gosh, uh, behind Bowen, and because it is so gentle and a very super superficial touch, not in the sense of the term of being like a superficial person, but superficial in the anatomical sense of you don't have to go super deep to actually be able to stimulate that fascia because it actually runs just um, just under our skin, and we actually work directly. Uh, the bone moves work directly with the central nervous system. So one of our main focus is to bring the body down into the parasympathetic mode. That is your rest, digest, heal, and recover. So this is the whole idea that, that we want to unlock the body's healing potential through the therapeutic Bowen session. So our first session, our main goal is unlocking that parasympathetic state to allow the body to be in a place of healing. Um, as opposed to sympathetic, which we usually run our days in, which is fight, flight, or freeze. Um, you know, when you're stressed out, you um, have like a deadline coming up, something's going on with your family, something's going on in the world that everybody's stressed about. Um, we, we usually do run in this, this sympathetic mode. So with Bowen, in the first treatment, we do call our reboot treatment, which that goal is to get you in the parasympathetic system. Um, that um, that first session too is when you would, um, I do, sorry, consistently with every client that I come in and I kind of call it my handshake treat, my handshake session as well. It's our secret handshake that I get to know the body, the body gets to know the bone moves and gets used to it. So then every time you come in for that session, I repeat that handshake. So the body, oh, remembers, right, this is a safe space. This is a healing space. This is where I can be calm. I can be relaxed. I can be in that parasympathetic system. And I can have that, that state of healing that I need. And then we get into different um, specifics of your body, whether it's um, a shoulder problem. I've had a couple clients with a broken shoulder, whether it's a knee thing, digestion, stress, anxiety, different things like that. I've worked with a handful of clients. Um, and then back to what bone is, we also work directly with the lymphatic system and as well as the circulatory system. Um, so being able to affect these four systems in the body to actually unlock the body's own healing potential. So I always get this weird look from people when, when I say, your body can heal itself. Yeah, that yeah. is a super important part, is to like recognize, and I think that's something that is not currently in our medical paradigm and health paradigm, is that we do have an innate healing potential. Could you speak to like one of those innate healing potentials? Like I know Bowen kind of, um, is like a catalyst for healing the body, but something tangible that people can actually like, oh, okay, yeah, my body does have that. <laughs> yeah, no, I have a couple couple examples. One of the ones I love to use is the cut. Um, so if you cut yourself, before you even realize that you're bleeding or um, that you even cut yourself, your body is already sending cells to that site for one, to start, the inflammation process, which is going to help if any dirt gets into that cut. I'm not a cut expert, so <laughs> I'm only on this. And then two, I've done biology in, in university and it's, it's been a while, I love microbiology. Um, and then two, start sending uh, chemicals there that it's gonna start clotting the blood. So there's a lot of these things you're like, wow, yeah, my body's already, before you have time to go run and grab polyspore or you're running grab a band-aid or wrap your finger, your body's already sending and doing its part in the healing process. But we as humans, we want to like control and fix it. And also we have this 
this capability within our immune system that we don't always talk about, which is our lymphocytes. Um, so our lymphocytes actually go around our body. They, they reside normally in our lymph nodes, but they go around our body to engulf and get rid of dead cells. So one of their major focus if it's been infected by a virus, by bacteria, or by a cancer cell, our body has this ability already to go clean up the bad cells and make room for new and fresh new cells. So that's another thing. I mean, imagine these little, and that's why I love microbiology and thinking about it. I love bone therapy. It's like, imagine all these things going on in your body at this time. And it's, it's amazing to think about, wow, I do have this innate potential within my body. But as humans, we want to like do something. We want to take a pill. We want to fix it. We want to cover it. We want to, we always want to do, right? And, and, and I, I totally resonate with that. It used to be like that before kind of Bowen came into my life at, in 2017. So it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I think that's really amazing. One of the things that gets me excited about Bowen therapy is the empowerment that you feel as a client and an active player in your health. And that's something like, I know from my personal experience, I've, I've always felt a little bit disempowered in our current medical paradigm. I feel like I'm always looking to the external to heal me. Like I don't have that potential to heal within myself. Could you speak to like empowering your clients? <laughs> well, don't say this get deep. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is great. This is something that when I first became a bone therapist, I didn't realize I was going to be in the job description <laughs> of becoming a counselor and becoming something so much more for my clients. Uh, so in 2017, that's when I first started uh, my Bowen training. Um, and I really thought when I was getting into it, it was just a physical kind of therapy, right? I'm like, I've had it done before. I used to do CrossFit, I used to injure myself a lot. <laughs> and I, I had a friend who did Bowen that was just like, oh, your shoulders messed up, boo, boo, boo. Um, and it wasn't until I went into it more, learning more, doing all the, the schoolwork for it, that I realized that one of the main things isn't me as a practitioner, but like Mackenzie said, it's empowering my clients, it's empowering our community to actually <laughs> be able to heal themselves and help themselves. I, I've i always said, I, when I was younger actually, when I was a, in high school, my mom was like, you need to be passionate about something, you need to find your passion. And I, I couldn't, it was hard, I, I was struggling. And then I, I realized it, I guess, it was probably just after university that my real passion was helping people. And I said that, and then I, Kept reading it, it was like that's so vague. Like you can't just help people, right? Like that's there's gotta be something more. And, and as I've gotten into both more, I realized that my passion is empowering people and empowering them about their health, about their capacities to actually heal themselves, um, and for them to actually realize they they know more about their bodies than anyone ever will. Um, and we just kind of have to start to listen. <laughs> That's kind of the biggest one. We, we actually have created a lot of things together, but one of the things we are, we love and, and we give out as a free, um, free content for our community is our seven point checklist to overcome, effectively overcome chronic pain. And number one on that list is listen. Um, and that's the biggest thing I usually start with is with my clients. It can be one of the most empowering things is taking time to sit and listen to your body and listen to what it's telling you. And it's something that Mackenzie and I have been learning on our own, right? We, especially opening up a new business, we both went through times of me for sure. I'm like not listening to my hunger and I just would go with it. They're eating, which is a good, but these are simple ways that you, your body is giving you these cues. And if you are like, keep going past them and not listening to them, they're going to keep building up and manifesting as physical issues. I so. so, yeah, I love that. And also like, what is our response or reaction to those physical cues? Like when they come up, sometimes it's like getting sick. I'm like, oh, like, no, like that's not the best way that my body is responding but my body is asking me to listen and to like not um 
fight against that symptom or reaction. So I know a lot of times when you when you get sick or get a cold, it's your body being like, Woo, slow down, you can't handle anything more. Because a lot of times when we get we come into um, come into contact with viruses, bacteria, parasites, things all the time, but it's when our immune system gets past its threshold and can't handle it. If our stress levels are too high, there's something else is in the way that our bodies really need to be able to, to say, whoa, let's take a step back. We need to sit down and, and deal with this. So I think one thing that um, that, that just reminded me of is this, this talking about stress and physical ailments is one thing that I know was new to me over the last couple of years. Um, and I think in our medical world, some people are still put off by talking about how stress, um, Mackenzie just ordered this, one of my favorite books, because I lost it, but um, one of our favorites, Gabor Mate, is, is one of his books is When the Body Says No. So if you're interested in the way stress, psychological behaviors, and different things actually manifest in the body and manifest as ailments, um, I highly suggest getting that book, When the yeah. Body Says No. Um, one of my counselors told me to read it uh, because I have struggled with uh, rheumatoid arthritis since I was 17 and realizing like reading the chapter of rheumatoid arthritis, I was like, oh my God, I did not realize my mindset, everything that was going on, I placed so much into it. So, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, let's rewind and back it up a little bit to the actual Boeing treatment. So what can they expect? And also tell me more about the integration period. Okay, I'll speak to a little bit of my experience of what that was after. Yeah, that. totally. No, that's a, that's a good thing. So <laughs> what to expect on, let's talk about your first phone treatment. So for initial consultations, I do book an hour and a half. I've actually been kind of thinking like putting that a little bit because we always get in so deep. Uh, the first bit is we sit down and we talk about your health history. With bone therapy, I want to paint an entire picture. It's a whole body therapy. So you notice how, how I was talking about the reboot session. We do that first no matter what, which does cover lower body, torso, and cervical. Um, but it touches the whole body, even if you come in with just something with your shoulder, you come in with just something with your jaw, everything is in line and everything's connected, especially the fascia that runs. Fascia work lines run all over our body from the top of our head to the base of our foot. Um, so we want to take a full picture. And I like to go back through your past injuries, um, health history, anything that kind of pertains. I have some clients, sometimes they email me days after the, oh, I forgot to do this, I forgot to do this. But it's great, like the more, the better. I am a big note taker. And, and I think the old engineer in me is like, likes to analyze all this data that I get as well. So it's a bit, it's a part of phone therapy as well, a little bit of my personality. And then that first session, I first tell them this, I'll tell them like what to expect during the session before I get them laying down on the table. And then we do do that 30 minute reboot session. So I have a massage table set up in the treatment room and we have it all nice and calm and free because we want to make sure we're getting that parasympathetic system. So bone therapy is very, like I said, gentle touch, um, minimal touch, less invasive than any other therapies I've had. I know some people have compared it to other therapies. Um, so that's for you to decide if, if you want to like put a comparison in your head, but I'll do a couple moves and I actually allow the body to integrate in between moves. So that is a one to two minute integration period um, where me as a practitioner and other practitioners and therapists would actually leave the room in that, at that time, um, allowing your body the space it needs to process that information. So each time there is someone touching your body, whether it's me through Bowen um, or any time, that touch is stimulus to the body. So just like other things can be stimuli and, and 
we know that term when we get overstimulated, um, we don't want to get to that point. So with bow and therapy, each time I come in the room, that touch that I offer to that body, that message that I offer to that body, to the body is a stimulus. And we need to give the body time to integrate and process through that stimulus so we don't get in that overstimulated state. Just like I said, we want to keep in that parasympathetic mode. If we get overstimulated, we start to get into that sympathetic fight, flight, or freeze, so that would be counterproductive. So these two minutes um, can actually have profound effects on the body. And a lot of other disciplines actually use them, like osteopathy and acupuncture definitely uses these integration methods. Um, in their treatment and just giving the body that time like we talked about it's the body doing the healing it's the body doing the work so let's give the body messages being like hey focus your attention here and then the body can respond right because we are touching um sensory sensory nerves along the superficial skin and those messages have to go back to the central nervous system and then back to the muscle before something can take place or something can happen. Um, it's very important as well. I've seen major changes in people within those two minutes. Like I will leave the room, I'll go and I'll write a bunch of notes um, and then I'll go back in and, and I sometimes have to catch myself because I'm like, oh, maybe I was just seeing, maybe it just wasn't. And then I'll go back and I'll read my note. And I'm like, no, that's like, that's how it was. Like whether a lot of the time shoulder blades can shift um during treatment and different things like that um and and i I've, I've uh had different different releases in terms of people you know sometimes they they fall asleep in those two minutes but sometimes it's like they can't stop yawning or different things like that 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 kind of gives you that cue that you're in the parasympathetic system and then we're going to look at the macro integration period. So that is the integration period in between sessions. So we have those micro ones that are in between moves during a session. And then these bigger ones that are in between our sessions. So with Bowen therapy, we want to have a five to seven day integration period of the actual session because our body's still going through changes and still going through movements. This is very true for other forms of body work as well. I just don't think their rules are as strict, but your body is still working through and, and changing days after you go. Um, so I always book uh, a week after that we get in for our second treatment and, and I'll let you know what to expect. If you're coming in as a first time client, we do our first three treatments three weeks in a row. So week one, um, two, and three. And then after that third treatment, I actually like to see a two-week window to really give the body that time to process through before we make a new game plan on week four. Uh, not on week four, sorry, on session four, which would be technically week five. But we like to give that, that extra period so that I can really see, okay, what shifts, what changes happen in the body, what focus do we need to look at now? Maybe the fourth treatment, it is what it is. Maybe we make a new game plan or a lot of times I get really good benefits from people within the first two, three, four treatments. Um, I don't know if we want to, I think it's, I think it's a good time to tell the story. <laughs> okay, so um, back in 2018, I had a shoulder injury because I like to hand balance a lot. So I'm on my hands, my shoulders, and I impinge my shoulder from my movement practice. And at this time, Lauren was trained to become a bow and hair. I came back from my first workshop and the first person, I texted it on my way home. Well, not on my way home, because I think I was driving. But it was Mackenzie, and I was like, you're going to love bow and therapy. Like, let me work on you. Like, I think you should become a bow and therapist. <laughs> she was the first person. I thought I came back so very fitted that we're here today. <laughs> At this point, I was doing a, another year long training with a studio in Toronto. So I was like, no, like, this isn't the right time for me. I can't do this. She's like, well, let me work on you. I'm like, okay, like, I have the shoulder injury. What is there to like lose? And so I experienced my first Bowen treatment and I was laying on the table and she would, I felt like it was like a poke, poke and a roll. And I was like, what is going on? And then she'd leave the room and I'm like, 
where are you going? Like, how am I supposed to know when you're leaving me? And then she'd be back, she'd do another move, and then she'd go away. And I was like, okay, this was a really strange experience. I'm not really sure what this is all about. I think it was like my second or third treatment. So I stick with it. Yeah. I'm open minded. I can explore. And then I woke up at two in the morning and like I just went like this for whatever reason and my pain was just gone. Like, and I had rated it at that time a seven out of 10. It was really affecting my movement practice. And I was like, I thought I was going crazy. I'm like, no, like I didn't even take anything. We didn't even really do anything. Um, and I haven't, it's just been gone ever since. And that was when I was sold on the moment of like bone therapy. And also I was really enlightened to the fact that like, oh my God, like my body can heal itself fully. And it just needs to be reminded of how to heal. And that really like ignited my healing journey and what, and, like getting into like, what is healing and how do I want to feel? And yeah, it's such an amazing thing. And I, and it really caused me to reflect on also my cultural conditioning of like always needing that external to help me feel like whole and complete and healed. And it really isn't the case for myself. But I still have a screenshot of this. <laughs> if you guys want to see. Oh yeah, I messaged. I also messaged Lauren at two. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, like all my pain's like gone. It's gone. And I just yeah, I was so intrigued. So last year I signed up and started training because I'm like I really firmly believe in this like wholeheartedly. And it's something that I see as we have like an interview process with our clients coming into Canopy. For those who want, we do offer a private movement consultation for 30 minutes where we can really start to get to know our clients and like what makes them want to move or to heal or to feel better or any injuries. It's our time to get to know one another. Um, and it always comes back to now I'm like, you need to go in first. <laughs> Before anything, come get the bow in and we can work on the movement stuff after. And like, yeah, so why is it that bow in first? How can doing bow in first help you in your movement practice or help you to move and feel better? Yeah, there's a number of ways, that's, <laughs> but that's kind of what we wanted to get into today was why do we believe in bow in first? Um, we do have a lot of clients that come in here with injuries, whether they're acute or they're chronic, um, or they come in with different chronic conditions, chronic pain, um, and they look towards, I know, I don't know, maybe Mackenzie can speak to this a little bit before we go to the Bowen, but, but for some reason when people think of injuries, they kind of want to feel like, oh, I need to stretch more, I need, I need to, to stretch yoga, more. right? So, so then they look towards canopy wellness in terms of the movement side mm -hmm. of things. Um, but then they end up realizing, whoa, you guys offer this, this new therapy that I've never heard of. And, and maybe this, and we believe it, it would help you more before you get into movement. Um, both Mackenzie and I have worked with clients one-on-one -on -one, uh, before I, um, before I was a just phone therapist, I, I've done a lot of things, but, but I did work as a personal trainer um, and a coach at a local CrossFit gym, um, and it was the main reason why I wanted to get into Bowen because I was working with my clients and I was seeing my my community come in and they're like, Lauren, I can't do the workout today. I hurt my shoulder, or they started asking me questions about who do you see, like what chiropractor, what physio in town, like what's going through, because I've, I've worked through my own injuries um, in terms of, of some chronic, some acute, and and people just started looking at me as an expert and, and asking for my advice, and I felt kind of helpless. I was like, I'm like, I, I'm sorry that you can't do the workout, like go see blah, blah, blah right? Like go, go out, and, and I've had, there's amazing practitioners all around Sarnia, um, but I just really started, I'm like, I want to help these people in a different way, right? Because when they come into me and they're like, oh, I, I hurt myself, I can't do the workout today, or oh, we can't, like, personal train today, do our one-on-one -on -one session because I'm too stressed or, or I'm feeling this. I'm like, I want to be, I'm like, oh, this kind of defeats the purpose of why I wanted to yeah. be a personal trainer, right? Like, I, I, I want to help you and I want to motivate you and I want to empower you to show up and come. So, 
So I really looked into doing a hands-on therapy and, and kind of long story short, I came to Bowen Therapy to actually truly make a difference in my clients' lives and, and be able to, like McKenzie said with our movement consultations, whether you're coming in as someone, just an average person that's feeling okay, it's really awesome to get the body in the body. And Bowen is really helpful for that. So a lot of people use use movement, um, especially more like mindful movement to become aware of their body, to get into their body and really embody that physical space and physical vessel that they're in. Um, but sometimes it, it, it takes a little bit more or actual like group classes aren't the thing that works. So, all right, come in, let's get, let's get like a lot of times you only need four sessions. Um, I always ask people to give with Bowen. I'm like, give me at least four sessions. Uh, a lot of people do have profound things from session one. Like I've had, I've had a number of people text me the next day after their first session. And they're just like, I can't believe how well I slept or I can't believe how well I feel or I felt nauseous after. Is that normal? Or I felt um, like I can't get out of bed this morning, like I just want to sleep, like is that normal? And, and just different reactions to that first one and however your body moves through it is, is very unique to you. Um, but then I asked to give me, you know, three more sessions, two or three more sessions after that to really see how the body can truly heal and work through what it needs to. Um, and then let's get you into movement. Let's get you into, um, now we've connected you back into your body. We, you know what it feels like to have that, to be in that parasympathetic mode. We've worked through these different injuries, um, these different mindsets. Like the beauty of bone therapy is it's more, like I said, it's more than a physical therapy. Um, it's a mind body therapy. And when I got into it, I was an engineer at first when I got into it. So <laughs> that, I was very like science minded. And I've grown up very like science minded. My dad was a chemistry teacher. My three older sisters, like one's a pharmacist, one was a math major. Like we were all like <laughs> sciencey, right? So working as an engineer, starting to like deep dive into this, I'm like, oh, physical, yeah. Like I, it's it's a physical therapy. Like I can help people. And then connecting all of a sudden the last two years since 2017, connecting these layers of. There's so much more. So really, Bowen can start to peel back those layers before we start to get into the movement, and our body can actually be um, be ready and prepared for that movement a little better. I worked through um, these injuries, and I know that was a lot. Like I, I went on different tangents there, but I think I answered because these questions. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, the whole thing, like this whole day today and this whole talk is about why Bowen first and why we believe in Bowen so yeah. you'll get little bits and pieces as you go. And I think that's it too like sometimes moving more isn't the answer like if we've got pain loops going on in the body if neurologically we're always pain looping this and it's not actually just that it's a hardware issue like I hurt my knee and it hurts it's now become a software issue. Like Bowen is really great at addressing that. And that's the thing that sometimes I can't do as a movement practitioner is touch upon that software issue in the body. Mm -hmm. And that's why I also want to be able to support my clients and be like, you know what? We can't have our movement session today. Mm -hmm. Let's get you to lie down on the table and see what we can do to take care of you from here. That's such a good analogy like the hardware software mm -hmm. and it plays right into Bowen College so that's where I, I did my training and Mackenzie is a student of Bowen College right now. Um, the head of the college really believes that's why she called that first session the reboot session because it's like rebooting your computer. Yeah. So think of it, your computer, there's a ton going on, it's being really slow, what do you do? Reboot. You hit restart, right? So same with Bowen, you can actually like shut down the system and restart that software. So bringing you down into that parasympathetic mode, your body gets that time to, oh, and then, whoa, <laughs> right? Because it reboots that software back up and comes to play. So it's kind of nice to sort of go with the computer analogy. <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. That's lovely. Um, tell
tell me about the three W's. Oh, the three W's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard yeah. them. Yeah, this is something I share with my clients after each session. I have my little spiel to make sure that you're really gaining the most benefits out of your bone therapy treatment. So the three W's, and this came from Tom Bowen himself. So this was an Australian man who, who came up with bone therapy and really truly did some amazing healing back in his day. But the three W's are water, walking, and waiting. So we touched on some of the W's already, just not in that specific form, but water is one that we didn't touch on and I love to talk about and really educating my clients about, about what quality of water are you drinking. So if you've been into our studio before, I know some of you have, we actually have our one of our favorite water filters for the filtration system which I brought it in, our Santivia. So that is a stage water filtration system and then it actually remineralizes the water um, before you drink it. And I actually always add a few more mineral drops uh, to my water as well. It makes me drink more water. I don't know, I like the taste of it. But when your body, you want to have that good quality water going in, um, especially after bone treatments, because we can go through slight detox sitting through the body. So we want to make sure we're nourishing enough of the water. Our fascia is very, very susceptible to water. So I, a lot of times when I, when I have you fill out, I get people to fill out how much water they drink. I'm not looking for a crazy big amount of number. Again, it's a perfect number that fits for you. Some people that's two liters a day, some people that's a half a liter a day. So it's really finding what works for your physiology. Um, but I can tell as soon as I start touching the body, if the body's hydrated or dehydrated when I'm starting to work with a fascia. So why we want to make sure we get that hydration is so the fascia can do its job. And when I actually, um, we should have had Nessa and we'll do this so I have something up that I can like press, I guess my arm, but when you actually go to press on um, a part of the arm, which a lot of the moves we're, we're doing like a, a connection with the skin, movement of the fascia. So we kind of take this skin slack, you can see, I'll come a little closer, the sun's kind of hard to see. Oh, I'm washed out. There we go. There we go. So you can see the skin slack moving, right? So that is that fascia moving under the skin. Um, and when we hold and challenge the muscle or challenge the fascia, we're actually helping this rehydration process in the fascia. Um, I'm not going to deep dive too much into the slides because I've been waiting a all day. But I, I um, so we, water is a really big player in this healing process that we need to be. And I want to make sure this is something that's important that we're not drinking pure water. Um, pure water is just like the water molecule H2O. And if that's, I don't know what that's just, but like without anything else in it. So tap water is not pure water. Um, most bottled water is not pure water. Distilled water is pure water. So it's just that H2O molecule in its liquid form. Um, when you actually drink pure water, it actually is going to attract minerals because of the polarization of the water molecule. I don't know, I'm getting so excited right now. I love it. <laughs> um, it's going to pull out these minerals as it goes through your body. So, like I said, this system really mineralizes the water. I have drops that I actually, I keep saying every time I talk about them, I'm like, we just need to sell them out of here because I tell all my clients to go out and get them. Um, water Bug or Blue Water Nutrition sells. Uh, they're either Aussie Trace Minerals or there's this other one that's a Trace Mineral drop that you can get. Just to remineralize your water so when you're drinking the water, you're actually remineralizing your body and you're not stripping the minerals. Uh, I think that's enough about water. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of water. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? We have like mini talk. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We absolutely do. Okay. Then, yes, yeah, so then water, walking, and meeting. So walking, again, the body heals through movement. One of the best things you can do is one, come camp you want us to move. <laughs> They'll sign up there. Or two, walk. Get up and walk. It's one of the best 
at forms of exercise you can do at any age, at any time, at any at any place the body was meant to move. We're in this upright position we're in, and our pelvis was built and our anatomy was built to actually gait and walk and use those muscles that we're in. Um, maybe we'll have a whole new talk about walking today. <laughs> and then uh, waiting. So waiting plays into those integration periods, that macro integration of we need to wait and let the body do what it needs to do before we get back in and give it more stimulus and give it more messages and give it more things. Um, the thing I love about Bowen, which three years ago or four years ago, you, I would not say this, but less is more. Um, our bodies, like we're constantly want to do, do, do. I used to always like get the hardest, deepest massages. I was always doing more supplements, supplements, like more CrossFit, more working out. I was always like doing, doing things and doing more. And since Bowen has come to my life, I'm like, huh, less is more. And I can just be and let the body just be. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Take a sip of your hot chocolate. <laughs> Join us. in this uh, water you're saying that we should be drinking distilled water no, no not not distilled water oh okay yes. what's the water? So, so you want to actually when you're drinking water you want to make sure that your water has been remineralized so distilled water is not good on its own because distilled is just pure water um but that being said if you wanted to you know, if you didn't have a filtration system or if you were camping or something, like I I actually have a couple jugs of distilled water in my basement right now, just in case, you know, the world ends and need water. <laughs> um, but I would use my mineral drops to drop it in before I drank it. Oh, yeah, okay. so if you have to, um, but things like um, are, uh, I really do, believe in filtering our tap water because a lot of chlorine has to run through that tap water to, for it to make it from the plant to our house. They need to add enough chlorine in it so that bacteria doesn't grow, but that doesn't mean you need to be ingesting that chlorine. Okay. So it's just so it can run through the pipes and the bacteria doesn't grow um, in the pipes. But then once it comes out of your tap, you want to make sure you can filter that chlorine out, so then you're getting a better, um, better version of the water interior. Okay. Oh, wow. Thanks for Thank asking. That, yes, <laughs> the super important, one of the three W's. So. <laughs> um, also, as I just continue to talk, yeah. um, to me, it's like, well, why does Bowen help so many different issues? And I think you spoke to that in the sense of like, because it is that reboot of the body. It's like, well, how can Bowen do shoulders? How can Bowen do knees? How can Bowen help anxiety? Like, how does it have that potential? And just that 
rebooting, getting down to the parasympathetic. That's yeah. why like, we're in that sympathetic state and we can't really heal in a sympathetic state, right? Mm -hmm. Could you like speak to that, why the body doesn't do so well healing there? Yeah, definitely. So like I said, with the parasympathetic and sympathetic, is when you're in the sympathetic state, you're at this fight, flight, or freeze. So this takes us back to our, let's just like caveman days. I hate like saying that because it's very like broad, but, but back to the days where our ancestors were always fighting for their lives or for survival, um, which some humans do live in the world this day, still surviving and just getting the next food teeth. So they need to live in that sympathetic state. We, most of us here, do not need to be living in the parasympathetic, need to be living in the sympathetic state because we aren't fighting for our lives. We aren't, uh, like you, you have water, um, I say most of us, um, but your body doesn't know the difference between this stress from a deadline at work versus a cyber two tiger mm -hmm. attacking you. Um, so it, it responds the same way with coming into this fight, flight, or freeze, because that's what the body thinks it needs to do. It says, I could go into like all of what happens in the sympathetic system, um, but pretty much our body is ready to fight. Our body is ready to survive. Our body is ready to freeze or hide or something, but we want your body ready to thrive. We want your body ready to heal. Um, a fluctuation or an oscillation between the two is beneficial because we do need sympathetic mm -hmm. stimulation at times and we do need a level of stress in our lives at times. But again, when we come to that overstimulation or that overstress or that too much time in the sympathetic system, the body doesn't have that beautiful balance mm -hmm. that it needs to have or that tilt towards the parasympathetic system or just I, I, it still gets me I've had probably 50% of my clients and I don't know if it's just the people that I attract and, and one of my journeys my healing journeys has been settle down and do more I'm sorry do less and this is something we've been talking about and just relax more and just be and a lot of my clients they'll get off the table after their first session and they're like this is what it feels like to feel relaxed, to feel calm. And it's just, it's just amazing to me that, that this was the first time that, that they were actually able to experience that. And if that was it, and I never saw them again, that is a beautiful moment because they were allowed that space to actually feel that. And then now they know going forward what that feels like in their body. And they're able to, oh, I'm in sympathetic. Okay, what can I do? There's a bunch of different techniques to get you in the person that the phone's not the only one. It's just my favorite one and you get to lay there and do nothing. Um, yeah. But there's a bunch of different ways like breathing, meditation, um, some different movement styles. So, so there is ways, it's just, it's just a matter of can the body decide between one or the other and go back and forth between one or the other. Amazing. Thank you for letting me kiss your brain and throw my curveball questions at you. No, <laughs> yeah, this is something um, I feel when you're you're truly passionate about something, and I know we're gonna get Mackenzie like a year from now, she's gonna be the same way. But but you really can't be quiet about it, right? And I want to be able to to open up more about bowen therapy, and I have all these like stories in my mind. Okay, we don't have all day anymore. <laughs> but one of the biggest things, like I was born and raised in Sarnia. After high school, I was like, I want to leave. I want to get out. I, I can't stand here. Like I, I just, I just need to leave. Um, and something I don't know. People will call it the black hole of Sarnia. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But but I came back and I decided to stay even after I finished my bone therapy training. Even though I could go. Pretty much anywhere, anywhere, but I truly wanted to bring it to my hometown and my community. Um, my sisters, there's four of us, so we have always kind of talked about starting a Bogan Houston sister charity, and 
and doing it for Sarnia and doing it for Sarnia and Lambton and our community. And I think this is just my little way of, of starting that, that uh, thank you and that, that piece of gratitude towards our community and towards this. I feel like, I'm like, why did I get so sentimental about Sarnia? But just like, I, I truly am grateful that my parents chose to live here and stay here and raise us and that that we can have this growth within our community mm -hmm. that can sustain places like Canopy Wellness, um, that, that can sustain amazing other wellness spheres yes. in our community. Like there's, I, if I could like rattle off a few, I would, but then I'd feel bad if I missed one, so I won't, but there's just so many businesses and, and people coming up to our community and deciding to land here and stay here. And I truly believe that's for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, I applaud you all and I thank you all for showing up and being here today and being a part of that change that I know Sarnia is, is working through and going through. I, I, I'm in this work right now of opening up and speaking my truth and, and opening up my throat chakra, you know, a little bit about chakras. And I believe the more I do, the more these people keep like showing up. They're like, you know what? And people from Sarnia that I was like, wow, I didn't realize everybody else would, would kind of be thinking this way, but we don't know until we speak up and we don't know until we start to communicate with one another and, and through our throats and through our voices, we can share our love energy which is the energy that connects us all and, and be able to, to heal on other levels that have, maybe we didn't even know were, were possible before and to open our minds to things we didn't even know were possible before and to just empower all of us. I think we all have a, a part to play in empowering each other. I, I know I can rattle the list of people that empowered me to heal and every day I think Mackenzie and I go back and forth like empowering each other to be better and I think that's why our partnership <laughs> works so well. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but that's kind of my final piece or words about um, about just being so grateful to be here. I don't know if you have anything else to finish off with. Yeah, I can just echo that and say I've really seen Sarnia start to transition into such an amazing community with these amazing practitioners as well. And I truly believe like we need these spaces to heal because really like it takes sometimes an environment shift to change and to heal. And we need to keep these spaces going in our community across like all the world right now. We need to get through these restrictions and keep these spaces open. It's been such an integral part to my life and my healing journey is having that yoga studio to go to. I really have reflected over it in the past year of like, holy, when I was able to go to a local yoga studio, that's when my life changed. That's when I healed. Like that's when a lot of things shifted for me and now I just feel it's my role to keep giving back, to keep going, to keep Canopy and other movement studios alive, like not just us, right? It's not this movement and wellness and, mm -hmm. and everyone alive right now. Yeah, so mm -hmm. thank you so much for like listening, coming, showing up, being a part of Canopy, supporting us, just everything. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and let us know if you liked this chat, if you want more. Um, there's always things we can dive into more detail. This is just an everyday conversation me and Lauren have. <laughs> we, keep, we keep joking that we need to just have a, a video recording going on everywhere because we have these profound conversations. We're like, we should have done that all day. <laughs> we need to start a podcast. Like, what is this? So, here it is. Yeah. Thank Maybe you. this is the first of many. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shana, Julie, Patricia. Bye. <laughs> and everybody on Instagram. Live. Yes. Take Have care, guys. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Bye. Over here and everybody on Instagram. Take care. <laughs>